I want to introduce you to a developer that makes the most disturbing and creepiest point and click games on the internet. This developer is named Yames. The way I was introduced to this developer was on Twitter. I tend to find many different kinds of games on my Twitter feed, either stuff I follow or things that have been retweeted. When I saw the images from this developer's Twitter, they were merely sharing their progress on a new game they were working on. I loved what I saw. I wanted to play these games even though what I saw scared me and intrigued me at the same time. What made me so interested in what I was seeing from Yames was how extremely moody, nightmarish, detailed, and slightly vague his visuals are for his games. Sometimes you can't really make out what you're seeing, but your imagination tends to fill in the details. They use the perfect amount of contrast in his colors, blended in things that you will definitely see in the real world. Like materials, both organic and inorganic, that are withering away, moldy, or slightly destroyed. Yames likes to use glitchy computer visuals in his art, as if the game you're playing is malfunctioning or wasn't completed on time. His games sort of feel like something I would find from an archive webpage from the mid-2000s, and that I was lucky to download the archive exe file or zip to play it. Almost as if the developer just disappeared off the face of the earth, leaving behind these creepy games expressing his mental state. But this is the opposite with Yames. He does his best to stay connected with his fans on social media, Patreon, and Discord. Many of his games can be completed in around 15 to 90 minutes. It gives the individual game its own identity without overwhelming its stay. It reminds me of horror anthology TV shows I was curious about as a kid, like Tales from the Dark Side, Twilight Zone, Tales from the Crypt, and Monsters. Mood, atmosphere, and tension are the strongest aspects of what makes Yames games so disturbing to me. Definitely things that I would not like to see in my dreams or become visible in a dark room. The point and click gameplay is quite simple and it's easy to play with tutorials featured in a few of his titles. There aren't many puzzles to try to drag you down and not many obstacles to disrupt the flow of the game. If you hate jump scares, don't worry, Yames doesn't place many of those in his games at all. There are light surprises but nothing to make you have a heart attack. Yames likes to creep you out slowly in a deep psychological way. Sound and music featured in Yames games are as equally as disturbing as the art. Not much melody or harmony, just very droney, dissonant, and intonal pieces that you will hear throughout the game. Sometimes the volume of the music will increase as you progress or drop entirely when you have reached a certain point. Sound effects used in his games are used meticulously depending on the scene or the situation, ranging from small sounds used in menus and areas you are currently in, or items you may have. Also, if you're concerned about blood and gore, many of his games have trigger warnings just to let you know what to expect content-wise. If you love horror games, most definitely give games games a try. You may be equally disturbed and impressed at the same time. In the comments section, share other really creepy point-and-click games that you have played before.